And you'll see that when I shipped it, I packed it with all the screws in here. So we've got a couple of screws in there. We need to take them out and just unscrew them. They should just be finger tight. Okay, so once I've got those bolts out, the next thing, you'll notice that the bench's ends are sided. So here, where the tenons are, I have a little tiny screw holding them in and I personally prefer those screws to be facing towards the seat so the end of the bench that you mostly see the outside of the bench is nice and clean with no holes in it slot the bit seat in doesn't matter which way around it goes symmetrical slots in like that okay next end of the lift up the seat and slot it in okay now, the backrest part of the bench, it has these holes at the ends, which is obviously going to slot over the little tenons that you've got, and it's got in the ends of its brace, it's got these little holes, which is where your uh, little bolts will go once we've got it together. So we'll slot it onto one end, sometimes it's a tiny bit persuading need it, take a hammer, just give it like that. Okay, once it's on one end, just have to line up the other end. Same again, little tap. Again, sometimes this can be a bit of a fiddle. Okay, there we are. Tap that in. I've found that the best way to get the bolts to line up on the brace at the back here uh, is to sit on the bench. And then you can push you can push the bench side to side to square it up and help the holes to line up. So we'll try that. You guys can sit on the bench and you can you see you can move it quite a lot, it's quite flexible until this brace is attached. You can line it up until it feels like you can get that thread in. You shouldn't have to force these threads, they should go in. Sometimes they're a bit tricky at the beginning. There we are, in it goes. So we can push that in and tighten up. And then exactly the same on the other side. Again, you can give it a shove to get it squared up if there's pressure on the bolt. Tighten it right up like that. So that one's nice and tight. There we are. So if you look underneath the seat here, you should be able to see, and you should be able to see right through, there's holes here and here, um, and they connect through to the, the little braces under the under the seat, and you should be able to poke through and find the little threaded insert at the bottom. Another half turn on that one. There we are. The last thing to do is to uh, is to pin these joints here together. I just put a single pin in there, and you'll find taped onto the uh, back of the brace there. You find a couple of little stainless steel nails in there. Before you hammer these in, make sure that this is this joint looks kind of like that, and that they both look the same. And there are the holes in the in there. It's in the either side, there and there, two little holes. Now, let's see, so we can get the, just the hammer, hammer, and we're just gonna tap them in. Not a lot of room to hammer in here, I put them on the underside, uh, so I'm actually using the side of the, the, side of the head of the hammer, not the, not the, head, not the head of the head, the side of the head here, and that allows me to, to bash it in without fouling on the uh, on the leg. So that's 